Hello guys, we are in the second part of VSVR Distributed Switch Design and Configuration video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create and manage every settings of distribute port group called DV port group. So let's begin. In the first step, you must provide a name for DV port group and select appropriate data center and also VDS. Now you can see port settings, number, binding type, allocation and VLAN config. Choose aesthetic for dedicating to VNIX and ephemeral means glancing to whenever the VM is power on and connected and is a good choice for recovery situations and also fixing the port or grant elastic and really how many ports do you need i recommend if you need for example 50 ports select next upper x square number if you have network resource pool you can select it here and as you can see, unlike the standard port group, you can set private VLAN in DV port group. Now I want to choose VLAN ID 1001 and select customize default policies checkbox to do some changes. Accepted promiscuous mode let connected VMs to this port group capture all received traffic for interception tasks by monitoring tools. MAC address changes and force transmits also related to sending or receiving traffic if you want to spoof your VM's MAC address. I will talk more about them in a separate video maybe. And then traffic shaping settings for incoming outgoing network streams and can be set for average and peak bandwidth by kilobit per second and burst size by kilobyte. Both of them are disabled by default. And now load balancing settings. Default is road based on originating virtual port traffic will handle by uplinks per each VM. Uh, it means uh, uplinks of 0, 1, 2, 3 uh, is responsible for VM 1, 2, 3, 4 network traffic handling and at the next round for VM 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on. Source MacHash is the same story but this time is about virtual NIC exactly, not exact VM itself. So load balance transmission will be done for each VNIC, even they are in the same VM. IP hash is used for link aggregation situation and physical switch side. For example, if you use Ether channel in Cisco switch config. Explicit failover order is not actually a load balancing option because has to choose first active uplink and if there is no available active uplink, it uses a standby list. Physical NIC load is like originating virtual port but vSwitch will check real load of each uplinks. So, you must consider physical switch configuration for choosing which option. And then failure detection. Link state mode will check the status of physical ports only and also a state of physical switch but bacon probing will send a bacon signal to check each upstream switch. And also listen to them. Just remember, do not use more than one uplink to each physical switch whenever you choose bacon probing. 
You can notify switch about the situation and also choose to fail back to recover uplink after disaster or not to do it. And also there is three state for each uplink active to pass network traffic. Standby to wait for active uplink failure and unused for never using for this TV port group. You can select enable NetFlow option or disable it and at last blocking ports or not. Review your configuration and finish the wizard. Let's check it out again. We can create more DV port group for our videos, for example, LAN, WAN, DMZ, and also VM kernel tasks like vMotion, replication, and so on. For example, do it for your appropriate DV port group of VM kernel and name it like uh, that type of management. Managing DV port group is possible for each mentioned policies, just you need to choose which DV port group. I hope it's been useful for you all. And until the next video, see you around.